Welcome. Uh, what I want to do today is show you how to multiply a monomial, the square root of 3, times a binomial, 4 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3. And we're going to have some little bit of radical numbers in here. So you can see we have the square root of 3 and the square root of 2. So quick thing to remember is whenever we have a number, it doesn't matter what kind of number it is, anytime we have a number outside of our parenthesis and we don't see an operation, we know that we're going to be using multiplication. Now it's really important that inside this parenthesis, since I have two terms separated by a subtraction sign, I am multiplying this square root of 3 times both of these terms. So we've got to make sure that's very, care very careful and we use that thinking by knowing the distributive property. So if A is a number times B plus C, or if it's B minus C, it doesn't really matter, I've got to make sure I'm multiplying A times B and A times C, which is going to give me AB plus AC. So here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have uh, square root of 3 times 4 square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of associative property to rearrange these. So I can only multiply my, my radicals by each other um, and so therefore I'm going to rearrange this to 4 times square root of 3 times square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 times square root of 3. So now, when multiplying numbers uh, with radicals, we multiply the radicands, meaning the numbers under your roots. So 3 times 2 is going to be 6, minus 3 times 3 is the square root of 9. Well, I can simplify the square root of 9 into 3. So I have 4 radical 6 minus 3. And there you go. That's going to be my final answer. All right, thanks.